Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargard.com and in this video we want to look at how you can use graphical indicators in your custom fields in Microsoft Project. So the example I want to use here for graphical indicators is that on this project I want to use them to view cost variance in a nice visual way so people can see whether the variance is good or bad or in other words whether the tasks are coming in on or over budget. So if I just before I get into the custom fields quickly have a look at the cost table. I don't know if you have used costs in your project before. You may be more familiar with other fields and graphical indicators can work on them just fine. But just for a heads up on what I mean by our costs here, I do have a baseline cost, i.e. what I've kind of budgeted for it. And a lot of these tasks are completed. So we have an actual figure and then we've got this variance. So I can see that these tasks have come in uh, on cost here on the budget, uh, whereas a couple of have gone over and one of them has actually cost me less. And I want to, I mean, I can see them values here, but I want to value on my entry table of my Gantt chart on a nice kind of green face for good news, a red unhappy face for bad news. And they are the graphical indicators of them. Okay, so first of all, let me switch back to the entry table and let's get this show on the road. We need to go to the format tab and custom fields to open up the custom fields dialog. In the top right hand corner we have a selection of types of data for our custom fields. So depending what data you're after you can go for a text field, it's the most common type of field to use, but you've also got fields such as cost and date which are also really useful among the others. Now I'm going for cost variance, so I'm going for a cost field so it'd be represented in a currency form. And we have a few cost fields to use here. You can use as many as 10 cost fields. You've got as many as 30 text fields if you're using that. Now for cost one, I'm going to rename it first of all. So I'm going to name it on over budget. That's the name for my new field or my new column. Now my next step is to put a formula in here. Just overriding that message to open up my formula box. Now I want a formula because at the moment this new custom field doesn't have any data in it. Now you can create custom fields that people type or enter data in and then use that for the graphical indicator. But that's not what I want. I want it based on cost variance. There was already a field that uses cost variance in Microsoft Project. So I wanted to use the information from that field. Why regurgitate it when it's already there? So I'm going to use this field drop down and I'm going to choose cost variance from the list of fields that you're able to access and use within formulas. See, there's an awful lot of potential in the, the versatility of project here. So I'll put cost variance. I don't need the equals. The equals included at the top there. Cost variance. Click OK. Let's just so quickly all moan at me about anything else being changed because I've now got a calculated field. Any data currently in there is removed. I don't have any. I'm creating it right now. There's nothing in it. OK. So cost variance is coming into that. Now, now for what it's all about, what this video is about, the graphical indicators. Now I have information to use. I can click graphical indicators and I need to set the criteria for each indicator. So the first criteria is going to be for the green smiley face. And the criteria is that it has to be less than or equal to. If it's in a negative, that's good news with costs. Less than or equal to zero. And the image column on the far right is where I can then select, as I scroll down, the green smiley face. I can then move to the next row. The criteria, I've only got one more, is if it's greater than zero. 
just type zero in there and if it's greater I'm having the red smiley face uh, sorry red unhappy face not happy about that okay now we could go on and put more criteria in here if we need to but that's what I'm after if it's zero or less it's on budget green face if it's greater than it's bad news unhappy face now this checkbox near the bottom show data values in tooltips just make a mental note of that I'm going to demonstrate it in a, a few seconds time when you hover your mouse over a column it will show the value of it obviously we can't see the value we're only going to see the indicators so let's click OK and then click OK again to save and close my new custom field now although I've created the custom field it is not visible yet so my next step is to bring it into my table or any table you want I'm going to right click on a column header and insert column and search for my on over budget column so I just type the word on up it comes still recognizes cost one as well select it and here it is so only the graphical indicator is displayed but as you can see if I hover my mouse over the field the value pops up so there's the minus 270 there and you can see the values popping up as you hover over that is what I'd start you to remember that is that data tips otherwise although you can see the value quite easily at any point we now have this graphical inter displayed in there just a nice clear message about how each of these tasks are doing in you know in relation to costs so that is the use of graphical indicators in your custom fields of Microsoft project I hope you find this video useful please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel or check us out at computergargar.com